What's up everybody? Welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to do a keyword research tutorial with Mangools, or as I like to say, Mango Tools, which obviously that's not the, the name of the software, but it's called Mangools. But um, let's go ahead and do this. For anybody who's looking for help on this, go ahead and uh, watch the full video, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. And by the way, if you never used Mangools before, I'll leave a link in the description. You guys could go ahead and try it, free trial. Um, overall, it's a very, very good software, very intuitive, and um, I would say ideal for beginners when it comes down to keyword research, just the visual aspect, the UI, it really helps, uh, I guess you could say, the first time user. So what I like to do when I first start is I take my blog, take my domain name, copy it, and just paste it right here, and then hit find keywords. And what it's going to do is it's going to help find competitors based on my website. That's the first thing I like to do, right? And notice how I didn't say find keywords. Now, if the website was a little bit bigger, it would find keywords, but this is relatively new of a website, uh, especially compared to the competitors. So here it provides us competitors, right? So there's a website here called T Nation, and we're gonna go ahead and click on T Nation. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna give us a report of various different keywords, uh, the ranking co competitiveness of that keyword, the history behind that keyword, and also the SERP overview for that specific keyword selected. All right, so I'll kind of break things down why this actually matters and how you could do some keyword research. Now, keyword research, a part of it is keyword ideology. You have to think of what kind of keyword that you want to bring to your market, you want to bring to your blog, right? So then this is just one way of many ways to do it. So here I have this competitor. This competitor is called tnation.com. And there's actually, because I know my own niche, there's better competitors out there. But let's just go ahead and go with this one. And what I want to do is I can look through different keywords here. Like, for example, the keyword leg press, right? I can take this keyword, right? And I'm just going to go ahead and and click on it. And what it's going to do is it's going to provide me a whole bunch of data on the SERP. And I see T Nation logs here at position number six for the keyword leg press. It gets 90,000 searches a month. Now, me personally, I'm not looking to rank for the keyword leg press, right? At least not for this blog. This blog is all based on boosting testosterone, things like that. But I can create an ideology of a keyword from the keyword leg press. So I could say, will doing the leg press boost testosterone or leg press boost testosterone, something like that. And we could actually see information on that. So I could go over here to the keyword search and I could say um, uh, leg press, something like this, and then boost testosterone, something like that. And that hit search. And now it will provide me data based on that. And then you could see actually here keyword that says, does the leg press does leg press increase testosterone? It gets 90 searches a month. This is not a competitive keyword by any means, but you could actually see over time that we could see that there's a search volume going up over time. Now, this is not a trendy keyword by any means. This is not a, a keyword where, you know, you're going to have uh, one month, 5,000 searches, and then in the next month, 20, 000, uh, 2, 000, uh, 2, 20 searches. Um, this is a, what you could so say, an evergreen keyword, right? Because there will be more and more people always searching for this, but it's actually growing. So this is not a bad keyword to start off with, right? And so this keyword alone, which is what I call a niche keyword, perfect for a niche site, is very specific, but it can provide certain answers. And we can actually see here the competitive articles and if they're truly competing for this keyword. So let's go ahead and click here on testofuel.com. It's the first position in the SERP. And the SERP just means the search engine results, right, for that specific keyword. And we can actually visit this website, right? So we can click on it. And it says here, are squats or leg presses better for testosterone, right? And we could actually click on this one as well and see, I, I like to see kind of like the top three, let's say. And here we have Fitness Vault. Okay, and we'll take a look. Does leg training increase testosterone production? So what this immediately tells me is this title, this is the third one, is not exactly what the topic of this keyword is. This is does leg press increase testosterone? This one, right, which is the most recent one, does leg training increase testosterone? Immediately that tells me in the top three, right, 
that I have a way into the top three pretty easily. I can beat this article, you know, not with not too much struggle. And I don't have to, you know, have crazy high domain authority or anything like that um, or backlinks, right? I can write a blog specifically for this query. And who knows? I can rank in the top three for this keyword. And if not the top three, at least the top 10. And it will slowly give me traffic. So this is a keyword that I would use. And this is one strategy of many to do keyword research, right? One strategy of many um, to do that keyword research, which is I'm going to just recap it for you guys once again, is you type your own domain name into the software. It will provide you the results of your competitors. You click on your competitors. You find some of the keywords that they're most notable for. And then you, with those keywords, you craft a keyword that relates to your blog or business with that keyword. You do a search of that keyword and you see, is it a viable option? And just off of this traffic alone, without seeing any of this, is good enough. Now, some of you might say, well, what's a good keyword difficulty to compete for? To be 100% honest, guys, I don't look at the keyword difficulty too much. And the reason why I don't is because the keyword difficulty is based off of two things. And the first thing is it's based off the cost of the click. And then you guys might say, what are you talking about? Cost of the click? Well, Google is an advertising platform. These softwares, keyword research softwares, they give you the value of the keyword, or excuse me, they give you the difficulty to rank based on the cost of that keyword. So I can't really put my full trust in here. So for example, if this is the keyword, does leg press increase testosterone? There's probably very, very low bids on that keyword. Could be 10 cents, could be 5 cents, could be 10, you know, could be even a dollar, which is pretty low, 50 cents per click. And if that's what they're basing it off of, it's not going to be that valuable. There's a second scenario where it could be basing it off of the competitiveness of the domain authority of the links that rank. So every software is a little bit different, and we'll find out which one this does in a second. I'll explain to you in a second. But the second one is there are some softwares as well, because some of you guys might not be using this software, but there are some softwares as well where they'll take the domain authority of like the the top 10 that rank and uh, of the articles and they'll say okay the domain authority is x amount so it's xyz hard to rank so this article this website here is the first one that has the serp right here you are excuse me the snippet uh at 37 domain authority the next one is at 24 and the next one is at 54 all relatively all of them are pretty low right you have a 93 after that, 66, 61. So you got that good mix here, but the ones on the top have a low level of domain authority. So they'll give a low level for the score. That's also a different, you know, different softwares measure it by that as well. So either way, I don't pay attention to the keyword difficulty because that's not my goal. You know, my goal is to create content that people are actively searching for. And we can see based on the results that people are not getting exactly what they need. They're getting variations of what they need. Like this is a variation of the keyword that I'm providing here. This is a variation of the keyword that I'm providing here. This indeed is also a variation of the keyword that I'm providing here. So that's my goal is to find very, very specific keywords in an, in an instance like this. And this is just one of the many ways. There are a few ways. Uh, we're going to show all the others in the free course. If you haven't got the free course yet, let's go ahead and show you guys cash cow niche sites uh, These are all the paid products, but go over here, click on the link on the top and access the free course. Okay. The free course is going to have not only this video and all the other keyword research videos in there when we go ahead and do release them. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and peace out. Bye.